Hey gang, what's going on? Welcome back to James Walker Live. Sort of. So before anybody says anything, yes, I am planning on shaving soon. With the holidays and everything that's been going on, I've just been so busy too, but I promise I will shave soon. But that's not the point of this video. 2018 is drawing to a close, and 2019 is getting ready to emerge. And with that, a plethora of movies are scheduled for release in this year to come. So without further ado, I give you the list of movies I am most excited to see in 2019. Now I do want to note that this list is strictly in chronological order. This isn't a list of my most excited movie to see, and the end is my least excited movie to see. These are just the movies I am excited to see in the order in which they come out. So let's get started. Coming out in January is Glass the true sequel to M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable and the sequel-esque Split. Now, Unbreakable is one of my favorite superhero movies of all time, so I'm really, really excited to see a sequel. And this movie looks like it's going to be a straightforward comic book movie. Samuel L. Jackson and James McAvoy play the villains who team up, and Bruce Willis plays the superhero who has to stop them. With every trailer release and TV spot that's released, it just gets me more and more excited to see this movie. And that is why I cannot wait for this movie to come out. Coming out in February is The Lego Movie 2, the second part. Now I love the first Lego movie. I thought it was a great movie and I can't wait to see which direction this franchise go. I love the whole central theme of do you follow the rules or do you make things up as you go. So I'm really interested to see how that theme will play over into the sequel. And I'm also excited to see the role of Emmett actually take on the hero role and having to save his friends in a dire situation. Also coming out in February is How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Now the How to Train Your Dragon series is a series that just kept getting better and better with each movie. The first movie is great. The second movie is fantastic. And from what I can tell about this third movie, it is going to be phenomenal. Now we all know this is going to be the last movie in the How to Train Your Dragon series and we're promised a very emotional ending. So it'll be really interested to see is how this movie series actually comes to a close. Coming out in March is Captain Marvel. Now I've had a lot to say about Captain Marvel lately and even though I'm not super excited to see it, I still am a little excited to see it because it is the next step before we get to the final Avengers movie. And like I've said before, this is a character that I know very little about, so I'm hoping that this movie will kind of bring me into that character's world and make me a fan of the character. And I'm also wondering to see how this movie will play into the final Avengers movie. Also coming out in March is Tim Burton's Dumbo. Now Dumbo is one of my favorite Disney movies, so I'm really excited to see a live action remake of it. Now what I will say about this is that the trailers are an emotional roller coaster. It looks like this movie is going to not only tug on your heartstrings, but they're going to pull on them like Quasimodo ringing the bell. From the trailers, I've teared up from watching the trailers, so I can pretty much be expected to full out cry when I see this movie. And I'm kind of hoping I do because I think the live action Disney movies need that emotion. We're also used to the big spectacle CG of the live action Disney remakes, but we need an emotional roller coaster to keep it going. And I think Dumbo is that movie that will deliver that. Coming out in April is Avengers Endgame. This will be the culmination of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Some characters will live, some characters will die, possibly permanently. And then we'll get to see how some of the characters that perished at the end of Infinity Wars, spoiler, will come back and how they will be changed from coming back. And we'll see the character development of characters that we love and how they move forward. This is just going to be, hands down, probably the best Marvel Cinematic Universe movie ever. And I am super, super excited to see it. Coming out in May is Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, I love the first Godzilla movie. No, 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 not that one. 
this one. And we were promised a sequel ever since that movie came out, but pretty much nothing came out. And then little by little, we kept getting little pieces of information until finally we got the huge reveal trailer. Now in this movie, Godzilla will be used to take on King Ghidorah, Mothra, and Rodan. And it looks like their battleground is going to be Earth. And at the center of the story is a family who has their own, I guess you could say monsters, to overcome. So I'm really interested to see the monster dynamic mixed with the family dynamic and how that will play out. Coming out in June, we have X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now, the X-Men movies have kind of lost their thunder with recent releases, but this movie seems to be a... I kind of almost want to say self-contained movie because the X-Men movies have always been about what new mutants can we introduce in this movie. And this one doesn't seem to be worried about introducing new mutants. The plot of the movie is them dealing with themselves. And them dealing with themselves takes the shape of Jean Grey harnessing her Dark Phoenix powers. So again, this looks like a movie where it looks like some characters may live, some characters may die, and we just kind of have to watch and see. But I am excited to see X-Men Dark Phoenix. Also coming out in June is Toy Story 4. Yes, I thought we were done with Toy Story at the perfect ending of Toy Story 3. The toys got to live on again with a new child who will take care of them and love them. But it seems like they weren't done and we're getting a Toy Story 4. Now, Toy Story is a series kind of like How to Train Your Dragon where it just kept getting better and better and better. And yes, even though Toy Story 3 ended on a high note, I am still excited to see this next installment. Now, coming out in July is Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, I really like Spider-Man Homecoming, despite its flaws, but I'm really interested to see the Mysterio character in this. And I'm excited to see Nick Fury actually interact with Spider-Man and how those worlds will kind of mesh together and collide. And I really like seeing Spider-Man taken out of his element, going overseas to have to battle these villains. So Spider-Man Far From Home is a movie that I'm really, really excited to see. Coming out in October is Joker, the origin movie directed by Todd Phillips and produced by Martin Scorsese, starring Joaquin Phoenix in the title role. Now Joker is one of my favorite comic book characters ever, and I'm always really excited to see an actor's new take on the Joker, no matter what it may be. But Joaquin Phoenix is one of those actors that always gives 110%. And I don't think we'll expect anything less out of him in his portrayal of the Joker. I mean, the dude has been nominated for multiple awards, won several awards. So I'm excited to see his take on this character. And last but not least, coming out in December of 2019 in Star Wars Episode Nine. Now, Star Wars Episode Nine is the only movie on this list that I'm a little indifferent about. Because ever since the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Wars fans have been pretty verbal about their issues with the series and the way that it's gone. Some people really liked Force Awakens, some people thought it was just okay, some people liked The Last Jedi, some people hated it. So the thing about Star Wars Episode Nine is that there is a lot riding on this movie. And it's safe to say that the fates of the universe rest in its hands. So with that being said, I think Lucasfilm and J.J. Abrams both know this and know they have to pull out all the stops when it comes to Episode 9. So I am hoping for a full-fledged fan film when it comes to Star Wars Episode 9. And regardless, I am a Star Wars fan, so I am excited to see this movie. So there you go, guys. There's movies I am most excited to see in 2019. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what movies you are excited to see. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, at James Walker Show, and I'll see you guys next time. I guess it's not too bad.